All right, thanks for joining me. I'm going to jump right into this. Um, I took a break and got away from the muscle and connective tissue and went a little bit back north because we've had some major storms on the Pacific Ocean last couple weeks and I was hoping for some erosion so some stuff would be exposed. I went back to the bilipid membrane and boy oh boy was stuff exposed. You see how there's nothing showing right here, just a limb, the membrane here and a little bit right here. I'll show you something. Here's a little more of it here. This is all that's exposed, what's sticking out right in here. There's nothing exposed here. The same way even looking north, north. This is looking south. I'll show you what it looks like now. Look at it now. Look at this. This is all that was exposed down here. Look at all this now. So I'm going to be getting into this video and showing you some stuff. This is absolutely incredible. Look at the stuff right down there below me. Okay, we're going to be getting into this. This is a bilipid membrane. I believe we're on the upper layer of this membrane. It's an upper layer membrane under the flesh, and I'll show you why I say that. Okay, these are, this is skin clay. This is upper layer skin clay, and this is in with the membrane. So I'm pretty sure, almost positive, that's what we have going on. This is a membrane. This is a KO, these are all, this is all KO and clays. Okay. I'll put a little bit of this in there so you can see, but the, the, this is KO and clays. And the membranes to the right. See that in there? That's kale and clays. All of it. You can grab with your hand, just squeeze it. Super slick, balls together, incredible stuff. Okay, I'm gonna get into the video. Absolutely gorgeous day, and I'm back down here at the coast, getting away from the muscle and connective tissue, doing a different video. I've gotten back down to the membrane. Uh, the, the bilipid membrane on back down at the coast and it has totally changed because of the winter storms None of this was like this the last time I was here. You got to layer the membrane here. Uh oh, hold on We'll be getting into it here This has totally changed from the last time I was here. Holy cow. None of this was like this showing look at that You got the membrane and then I don't know what you're into there in between. Oh, you got the two layers of membrane it must be Upper and lower. I'll get out on there if I can real quick before the tide comes in I want to show you this over here see it that's part of the membrane and we're gonna get into it over there but look how it goes across there this hole there's a hole in it right here you can see it all out through there there's the next layer there none of this was here look at those, those must be interstitch or I would say that's interstitium those balls laying there look at these rows down through here look at this we're gonna get into that fabric in a minute tides I gotta get back out of the way here real quick I think yeah. I had to get out of the way the tides there the coming in. I wanted to show you because this is that layer, the bilipid layer I believe. I wanted to show you the pattern, see? That's underneath uh oh. That's the pattern underneath. See that pattern? And it's, this is not a rate eroded basalt either. This is, this is a bilipid membrane, and holy cow, I can't believe how much of it is showing. Wow. I'll come up this way and work our way back because of the, the sun and right in our eyes. But look at that down through there. It's all exposed. And then you got the, you got the membrane, and then you got what's in between the two membranes. There's the other piece, there's the two layers. Whoa, 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 whoa. None of this is like this. I've never seen it in this condition like it is right now. Now, if you notice right underneath this membrane, I don't know if that's an interstitium layer. All right underneath it, see that? Those protrusions sticking out. Anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, we'll run down here while the tide's out and we can look at some of this, the patterns on this. Man, this is so cool. You can see that pattern. Before it's been out of the water, but look at that down through there. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna walk on this as long as I can. Man, none of this was exposed last time I was here. Isn't that something? Kind of looks like those pieces down there in Saxai Waiman in South America and those cities and the walls are made, you know, so tight together. Isn't that something? 
I know we got lots of interstitching balls in here and stuff. But we're going to get up in here and look in some of this in a minute. But this is just fascinating. Now I can get back here. This is the next fabric layer. <laughs> wow. Now I found a ton of tendon balls and here's one right here and it's all eroded. That's a tendon ball. See that chunky, blocky? I found a ton of them down here I was showing my wife. That's one of them right here. That's, they, they get this design to them. Here's one here too. They're real eroded. But this is a eroded tendon ball. Some of these here could be interstitium or I have no idea. They're so rounded off. Look at that down through there. And this is not eroded basalt. I've had, you know, geology. Oh, it's just eroded basalt. No, it's not. It's biological. Okay, here we're getting into the... So we got like, I don't know how many layers here. Okay, so anyway, this, I know that's a transfer channel and I know that one is and one over here is broke off because of the way that they're designed around the edges. See how they come in and taper like this? See that? They're formed to come into the, to, into the hole. Okay, this isn't just a hole, it's eroded out. Now some of these could be. Um, this one here I believe is an, a transfer channel. I could be wrong. This one I'm pretty positive is because the same design around the same thing into the, the hole itself. And then uh, some of these, like this is one that looks like it's just eroded out. This could be another transfer channel down here. This is where the proteins and things like that would go through. I'm not sure about this one here. Kind of looks like it. Of course, some could have just fell out of the center. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to get up into some of this right here. But this is totally unbelievable way all this is uncovered now you can go back and look at some other videos and none of it's uncovered like this so this would have been it looks like this would have been a layer on top of the membrane and then this is the next layer above it that would be that layer that layer on top of the membrane or that's the top layer of the membrane <laughs> i'm trying to figure it out here so i got like three one two let's see one two three but i can't tell what's underneath i'll show you down here what's underneath all this we'll work our way out okay but uh that's a transfer channel i believe it's just a bunch of craps in the hole boulders and stuff they roll in here see you, you can move them around they just fall into these holes from the surf so and I don't know if this is, this would be the layer below the membrane itself in between whatever this is down here. Now if you look along, you'll see those CDs popping out right here. There's one there. There's one there. There was one there. There's one there. There's one there. There's one barely showing here. There's one there. If you look down through here, see those right through there in that row? Those bumps sticking out? That, I believe that's an interstitium layer. This is an interstitium layer underneath the, underneath the membrane. All the way down through there. See those? And that's the bottom layer of the membrane and you got the upper layer. But those are all down through there. See them down through there? And almost spaced out. Well, they're not spaced the same, but you can see them right there. See that? And there's that membrane. And you got stuff stuck in it. These here are concretions, okay? All these holes, those are concretions. 
you'll find a clamshell inside those or something something aquatic <laughs> but there's those there they see they keep on going right under the bilipid membrane see those They're kind of sticking out down here you see them right there okay i believe that's an interstitium layer and then down here is all look at that all right i'm gonna take a break here